Here's the latest information on what's going on in the Omaha area housing market. The number of existing homes on the market this August compared to last August is down 7%. The number, the number of pending sales has dropped to 273 homes and the number of closed sales is down over last year as well. You know, this time last year, we were still really affected by COVID. And so there's still a lot of buying going on. And I've been doing this for 19 years. And what I'm seeing now is more like what we're used to seeing, you know, before all the craziness of the market started. No matter what the interest rates are doing, this is why you still need to buy. The average closed price has increased more than $21,000 to just over $296,000. It is so rare, so unlikely that we will ever go back to the historic lows of the 3% interest rate. So you just need to make a move. Prices are going to continue to go up. And nationally, since they have been keeping track of interest rates, the average rate has been 8%. So if we're at five, if we're at six, that is still a good rate. Take a look at this. Now, if you tried to buy a property earlier this year in January, say that property was $250,000, things were still really crazy then. So in order to get the house, you probably would have had to pay about $300,000. At a 4% rate, you're at $1,360 per month. That's principal and interest. Now, right now, things aren't so crazy. They can still be competitive. It just depends on the house. But if you tried to buy that same property right now, for 250, maybe you'd have to pay 260 to get it, maybe not, but you're looking at uh, like five and a quarter rate. Your payment, your principal and interest payment is basically the same. The number of new construction listings is up 32%. 334 this past August compared to 253 last August. The average price has increased more than $57,000 to just over $465,000 for a new construction home. The number of new construction homes under contract is a bit up with 131 waiting good waiting to close this past August, while closed sales are down 8.9% at 204 homes. This is what I tell my clients. Life is short. If you don't like the house you're in, no matter what the headlines say, no matter what the interest rates are doing, you can always refinance later if necessary, you need to be happy. So if you're not happy where you're living right now, if you want a different home, I'm here to help. Also, if you have any questions about anything or a headline that you've seen, please reach out and I'll research it for you.